Yes. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, would you please thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, and comment. Yes. I said like, whatever. Okay, <laughs> if you are new here, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. Yes. And baby uh, is gonna tell you, I mean, you already see what we're doing, but what we're talk. doing today is a king crab and ramen mukbang, you guys. And we also were trying two sauces from our, our viewers, so stay tuned and we'll talk about that some more later. Yes, we will. All right, you ready? Yes. Then let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so we're back. So what we have here today, we have king crab legs, we have some corn, we have shrimp, and we have ramen. And then we're also trying two of our sauces, like I said before, so. All right, you guys, so shout out to Nay Chacol for the serrano pepper, red bell pepper, garlic, cayenne, onion powder, crushed red pepper, and lime sauce. And then um, I want to shout out to, now I can't name all of you because it was a lot of people that who did this, so I'm just going to name a few. Life with Jayla, Macy Caldwell, 1010, Corey, Anne's Land, Amari White, KPP Squad, Lil Perfect Nye, Jakaria Jackson. There's a bunch more of you that requested this hot sauce. And so thanks to you guys and thanks to the rest of you that we didn't mention because it was so many of you. Yes. All right, so, uh, whew. All right, if you're new here, we normally eat for a while and then we have a discussion later. So mm -hmm. if you hate talking, now's your time. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's try this first sauce first. First sauce? Yeah. Okay. Check these sauces. I've been, been dying to try these sauces. When you're making them, it's hard to not taste them. You know? I know. I bet. Which one are we going to try first? Let's try um, Nay Chicole. All right. Now this one, I have a feeling I'm going to like you guys. Cause we had one that was peppery before, and I really loved it. It had this one was really peppery though. Serrano, bell pepper, cayenne, and red pe pepper flakes. Ooh. But let's see. I didn't make it too spicy. You didn't? Nah. Ah, oh, my shrimp fell. Mm. You like it? Mm hmm I need to get me some stuff mm. on my. Air bomb. Mmm. That's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Mm hmm. Mm. Is that it? Oh. Mm. Ooh. I think I'm gonna put some lime on this ramen. Can I have some? Oh, can you put some on my plate? Oh, yeah. This is what she gave me, y'all. You already know how I do. I don't understand why she asking me. I'm just playing, baby. <laughs> Give me I some need something wrong. bigger, though. I know. Just... <laughs> yes. Yes. Ooh, shoot. All right, there we go. That's good. I think I got all your lines. You stole my. That's what I was about to say. You <laughs> stole my line. Mm. Let's try the wrong one together. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. 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 It's really good. Mmm. -hmm. That's no. a little spicier than last time. Did you add something? No. Oh. I put less water. Oh. Yeah. So last time I didn't, got, I didn't tell you guys the brand. This is Gin Ramen. This is good. And we got it from our local grocery store. Well, I got it online, but I found it at the local grocery store mm -hmm. too. So. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tastes mm -hmm. so good. Mm hmm. Mm. Her ginger beer is back, y'all. Yes. I'm ready to crack open one of these crap. Let's try uh, the second sauce though. I love my baby so much, y'all. I love my baby so much. Oh. I love you too, baby. That's not your baby, first of all. I'm Dungeon is <laughs> no way here. Not the my baby, baby. You know I love you. What are you, what are you doing? I want some crap. I'm about to um, try the second sauce. And just to reiterate, we do love this sauce here. Nay, Chicole, thank you so much for suggesting that. I will be eating that again. Yeah. I had another date too. Cause I like it a lot. Let's try the hot sauce and butter. Everybody recommend it. So many people recommend this one. Yeah, it's a lot. Crazy. So I need to see what this is about. Right. Just plain butter and plain hot sauce mixed, y'all. This is what y'all wanted us to do. It's not nasty. It's 
I mean, yeah. I'm going to taste like hot sauce and butter. I, I, I thought I was going to hate it. Really? Yeah. Okay. On seafood. But it's not bad. No, it's not. It's, it's actually, it's good. It's just not an exotic flavor. Like, it's just, okay, you can take, definitely taste the hot sauce. I think I kind of like it. For real? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I don't want to eat too much ramen because I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, let's crack over some crap and have this. Ooh, yes, y'all. Oh, mine is all skinny and sick. Ooh, wait, let me get the rest. This is what we got here. I'm gonna say that that piece for later. I'm gonna try um, the sauce that everybody recommends on the craft real quick to see how I like it. Okay. Just getting crab on my face. Mm. I'm really surprised that I actually like this, y'all. I'm glad we tried it. <laughs> That's good. I like different flavors, so if I have a certain flavor for too long, mm -hmm. even though I love it, I'm fine with doing something different because I love, I don't know, I just love to taste different things, so that's a good little different to add to the lineup for me. I've really been loving this line lately too, you guys. Me too. I wanted to try it where I use the hot sauce and the lime. So I'm about to try that right now. So this is um, butter, hot sauce, and lime, you guys. I'm sure somebody is requested that. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go on and dip it in my sauce. Mm. Mm. Oh, I miss it so bad. Somebody also asked for butter, hot sauce, and lemon, so I'm gonna do that. Oh yeah. I don't think I'm gonna like it any more than the lime, which was bomb. They asked for pepper too. Somebody said yeah, hot let's sauce. Let's see. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna let that marinate for a minute, y'all. Y'all got something here with this what butter and hot sauce? sauce? You want some? Yeah, butter and hot sauce? Mm. And lemon? It's good. I ain't try it. I like this. All right, you ready? Yeah, really give it to me though. Oh, yeah. Don't do me like I do. I'm like you. Mm. No, I ain't feeling hot sauce, y'all. I am. It's good. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I do like it, <coughs> but I need something more. Y'all know Pop Tasha picky too. I am very picky, but I like it. I do mm. like it. I'm not saying that. I just it's not for me. <laughs> Wait, y'all like how Tasha got her shit to marinate? I'm waiting. Marinating. I'm letting it chill for a minute. Oh my goodness. Yep. <sighs> All right. So I'm about to go back to this Naisha Cole. Check her out again. All right, guys. Here we go. The moment of truth. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Well, the sauce is on point, y'all, today. Have like, y'all ever tried oh. ramen with lime? It's really good, actually. Have you marinated enough, baby girl? No. Nah. <laughs> I think you need some time. This baby, look. Bitch. Oh, no! Where'd you go? I'm trying to run. That looks good. Yeah, it sure does. It's about to be right in my mouth. Ooh. Yes, y'all. Here. Look at that. Ugh. I miss this. Mm. I miss it right now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now we have some bread here, y'all. Y'all know how I love to make rolls with my my meat. So I'm about to make me a little something. What did I do with my chopsticks though? <clears throat> Ooh, this is really, really delicious. Tasha thought of the idea of doing the ramen. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Because we like to bring like new elements in because 
doing this so much, you do want to have some type of change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This ramen is so good. So I'm using this. I'm gonna make a nice crab roll, y'all. What you doing over there? Yeah, eating your ramen. I'm not eating no more ramen. I was thinking about a crab. Um, uh, what? I was thinking about like a crab, like a crab sandwich or something. <laughs> no, you weren't. I was. <laughs> I never had a crab sandwich before, baby. Excuse me, y'all. Huh? It is? Yes. Oh, I need a spoon. Um, do you have a... Um... Yeah, thank you. I gotta get some of this goodness. Oh, my God. Mmm. 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 So good. This is really messy. Let me see that spoon. Did I eat it? <laughs> you should. I don't want to pass Good. And then you have two. Alright, baby. Oh, y'all, look at this. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. It's dripping. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's your mom. Wait. It's perfect with this. Bro I'm good. I'm glad you decided to taste it. Mmm. Mm. your mom. You put butter on the bread? Mmm. Oh, that shit good. Oh. Maybe we should get into our discussion now. Yeah. I'll mm. start. Mm mm mm. So basically, we figured today we would just talk about, like, it's, it's, I guess some more history on us, you guys. And then you can talk about it, you, how you feel about it, too, in the comments about yourself. So, you know, we were talking about how we, um, we're remembering what we wanted to do as children and how far, how close we are to that or how far away we are. How far <laughs> away we are, you know? Yeah. So like, when I was a kid, and this was for years, I think from the time I was probably five or six, until I was about, um, honestly you guys, 21, 22, so it was actually a long time that I wanted to do this, but other things got in the way, like relationships. Um, I wanted to be a, a veterinarian when I was a kid. And I kept that for a long time, even in high school, because I did, um, Homeschool. I took this class. It was called animal. It was animal science, basically. So I was still preparing myself to to do vet, you know, vet work. And then, um, you know, I applied for a job when I was about 18, 18 years old. It was for the city or the county, whatever. And it was for vet tech. Um, but being in a relationship, stuff got in the way, and I didn't go to the interview. Um, you didn't have to have any experience with that, but I thought that would be a um, something close to what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out. <clears throat> and um, then I thought, you know, I wanna do a pet rescue or animal rescue, wild animal rescue. So that's something that's still, um, that I still wanna do and maybe I'll be able to do it one day. Um, that's something I'm really interested in. So even from being a child to who I am now, I still have some interest in working with animals. I love animals, you guys. I don't really talk about it that much, but 
right? I love animals, all animals. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it, you know? But, you yeah, I'm done. Mm. Okay, well, I was, my story is gonna be way longer than that. I feel mm. like I'm thinking of saying too much. So as far as me, when I was younger, I think the only job that I could remember really wanting to do would be a lawyer. And that probably only lasted until I was like in my mid-teens. Both of my parents are accountants though. I started doing stuff with them. I was always very good at math and it was, once I started doing some of their financial stuff and the taxes and stuff like that, it started to grow on me, you know? And I was like, I like this. I went to a pretty good school, you guys, and I, I, was, a, I was a pretty good student. I wasn't on roll or nothing like that, but I, was, I did pretty well in school. Up until 12th grade, y'all. I lost my mind in 12th grade, okay? <laughs> I literally started ditching school, like, I think I ditched almost every single day. To the point where, good thing I went to a really good school, they contacted my parents because I was about to fail. I was going to fail out of 12th grade. Just out of nowhere, I decided I'm not going to school no more. You know? After you almost done. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. So they contacted my parents. Oh. We had a big counseling session with all my teachers how, about how I can um, catch up and, and be okay with graduate, graduating. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I was in trouble, needless to say. And I know my parents were shocked to hear that I had been ditching school every single day. Right. And they didn't know anything about it. Right. You should cut it. Why? Because it's not going to come out. I mean, it's probably going to break. I thought you was telling your story. You worried about food. <laughs> no, because you was going to look. It looked like you was taking the shit or something. He's like, oh. I'm like, let me help my baby out. So I did graduate, but because I wasn't in school at all that year, I did not have any preparation for college. I didn't do any applications. Right. <laughs> and you wanted to go to college, right? And this at, at this point, I didn't care. I mean, when I was younger, yeah. I mean, oh, when okay. I was ditching every day, I was like, whatever, I don't care. You know, I was just, I just turned bad all of a sudden in the 12th grade guy. Okay, and stopped caring about my life. So, so yeah, I ended up having to go to a community college and that didn't go well because I was still trying to be grown. I really just wanted to be out of my parents' house because they had a lot of rules. And I didn't want to um, deal with that. Right. So my main goal was to get out and get a job and get my own apartment and just to be an adult. Okay. I was so need. I just needed that so bad. Um, instead of taking that free time to have no bills, stay right. in school and get my education then, and then start a career. No, I wanted to be grown, making probably ten dollars an hour, struggling to pay my bills. That was my my preference. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for a long time I did that and as I started getting older I was like dang I should have went to college when I when I was supposed to mm -hmm. because now I'm struggling to make it. do the things that I want to do I can't bear like I was barely able to pay my rent you know say like everything you know, was really living paycheck to paycheck and I just knew I was gonna have to finish school at some point to go further but when I was 19 I went and got um, a license to do taxes. So I started doing taxes on my own. I started build, building my clientele throughout the years, but I really wasn't serious about it. I was more serious about hanging out, having fun, right. being in a relationship. You know, I wasn't serious about my business for a long, long, long time. I tried to go back to school every now and then, but I might take two classes and never finish or some stuff like that. And then at a certain point, I started telling myself, you're getting too old to even go back to college. I started doubting myself. So for a long time, I really wanted to go back to college, but I never did because I didn't think I could do it. And then I met her. And she was talking about going back to college, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm going to do it too. I know you probably was like, yeah, right, bitch. No, I didn't think that. I mean, you really, like, did you really think I was going to really go back to college and really finish it? Yes. Or did you think I was going to take a couple classes? You done? Yeah. Everything you say you do, you do it. <laughs> if Stephanie says, I want to learn how to fish, she's going to learn how to fish that day. Probably. <laughs> she'll, spend, she'll sit there and spend 18 hours learning how to fish. So yeah, I believe that you were going to do it. Absolutely. Okay. And she did it. She did it. That was so hard. I started before her. She finished before me. Way before me. Look. So my point is, I my life you. definitely went no way near what I thought it was going to be. So anyway, if you guys are out there doubting yourself, 
feeling like you can't do something, yes you can. It's never too late to do anything you want to do, ever. If you're still alive, you can try to do whatever you want to do, right. okay? Just make the steps you need to make towards what you want to do and go for it. I think everybody can be successful if they really put an effort towards what they want, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you guys, I totally agree with that. Like, there's a lot of things that I thought that I couldn't do in my life that I, I did anyway or I attempted to do anyway and it worked out, just like YouTube. When we first, when Stephanie first decided, oh no, we're not going. I mean, we want to do YouTube this and that. I was like, no, this is not really. I never even thought about YouTube, so it wasn't even something. I was just like, and then I was like, we doing YouTube? We're not gonna get anywhere with that. No, we need to focus on other stuff. Well, we're doing all right. We are really, we're doing this thing, and you guys are here with us, and you're positive. That's what I needed. I need some positivity. I don't like I don't like being upset. That's the thing. It, it does irritate me with the with the negative comments. I don't like being upset. I like being happy. So that's all I wanted to say, y'all. Um, we probably gonna end it right here. Cause we only got a minute left. About to cut off on this anyway. That's what I'm saying. We got a minute left. I'm right. just gonna tell you guys we love you. We appreciate you. Yep. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment. Let us know what you guys think. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.